Welcome grade 7 learners. And welcome back to my channel. Before we begin our lesson, identify each cartoon character that I will be showing you, if it is a Japanese anime or American cartoons. Now that you know the differences between Japanese anime and American cartoons, you can now easily distinguish every cartoon character if it is an American cartoon or a Japanese anime by simply looking at its characteristics. Like style, technique, materials used or medium, and content. In connection with our topic, we also need to identify the characteristics of arts and crafts of Luzon, Highlands and Lowlands, in order for us to recognize their aesthetic and unique qualities and appreciate the real talents of the artists and the importance of their masterpieces in the community. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Arts and Crafts of Luzon, Highlands and Lowlands. Inabel is a hand-woven fabric made by Ilocanos which is more popularly known as Abel Elico. It comes from the root word Abel which means to weave. Cayenne is the basic dress for women of Cordillera. Cayenne is a type of skirt, tapis, characterized by horizontal stripes bordered by decorated panels along the joints and edges, uses bright colors especially fiery red and embroidered with beads and shells. Some cayenne used other colors like red, yellow, white, black, and green which signify the color of things in nature. Kadeng yen is a burial cloth for the rich people of Mountain Province. Kadeng yen is a Cordilleran term literally means rich. In earlier days, only the grandmothers were allowed to weave burial cloths, but now, any able weaver is allowed to weave burial cloths for the dead. Sinizawan is the Bontox blanket and clothing 1s and Lufit and genus Paula 1s. The hand-woven fabrics of Bontok are characterized by different geometric shapes and different shapes of things from nature. Tinguian designs are very meaningful for the people of Abra. Their clothing has a simple linear designs but are assigned with many meanings. Some of their textiles are reserved for use only during special occasions such as birth giving, weddings, and harvesting. They use natural dyes from different trees and plants, mahogany red, jackfruit or ginger yellow, nera, brown, malatea mindigo. Bakwat is a belt used by mothers after giving birth. It is designed with white beads as accents and patterns of rivers and mountains with bead works on the central portion of the cloth. It is made by gadang weavers of Nueva Vizcaya. Pinya and Jazi are the traditional fabrics in Batangas. In Taal, hand embroideries are characterized by a smooth stitches, fine, composed of fine delicate shapes, embossed, and durable. Barong is an embroidered formal menswear in the Philippines and it is the most versatile apparel on special occasions like weddings and formal affairs. It is made by a grade A clay and fine sand. Burnai is commonly used for storage of water grains, fermented fish, bagu, basi, sugarcane wine, salt, and other condiments. Burnai has small openings while those with bigger mouths are called wanging. Burnai, locally known as tapian or bunga, is an earthenware jar crafted by a skillful potters with the use of potter's wheel and kill. Buri mat is the smooth woven mat from Buli now that is made of dried leaves of palm, buri, raffia, and buntal dyed and woven. Laba is a bowl-shaped coil basket of Kalinga that is made from finely split rattan and nito vine. It is used for carrying and storing rice or vegetables. The linglingo or dynamig is a common artifact symbolizing fertility, prosperity, and love found in the Efogao, Bontoc and other Cordillera regions of the northern Philippines. 
It has a space form that be considered the internal female reproductive system, the womb, and the birth canal. This fertility symbol captured the feminine essence that nurtures. Vocal headdress is the headgear for evident women of badness that is used to protect them from the heat of the sun and rains. Vests are worn by evident men farmers. Vocal and vest are made from the leaves of Vuevui, a tree endemic to Batanes. Other arts and crafts. Sinkaban of Bulacan is the art of creating an entrance arch and other decorative materials mainly from bamboo. Pastillas of Bulacan is different from other pastillas in the country. It has a unique, colorful, and intricately designed paper wrapper which is locally known as Pabalat or Borlas de Pastillas. Kipping is a traditional Filipino leaf-shaped wafer made from glutinous rice. It originated from the city of Lukban, Quezon. It is used to decorate houses during the Puyas festival. It can be eaten grilled or fried and can be dipped in sugar, vinegar, or other sauce. Giant lanterns of Pampanga are known for their special features. Before, giant lanterns of Pampanga uses popal de hapon for coverings but were then innovated by using colored plastics as a material for covering. In today's ages, Pampanganos use fiberglass and homemade paper for their lanterns. Every lantern has illuminated dancing lights that follow the beat of the music and are controlled by a rotor. Lanterns also come in different designs and geometric patterns. On the other hand, giant lanterns are created using steel frames and other locally available materials. Accessories and Body Ornamentation Kalen gauze tattooing is a form of art that is usually covering the chest and arms. It is considered as a clothing and decorations of the Kalinas. Batok is a thousand-year tattooing tradition that uses indigenous materials like a charcoal mixed with water in a coconut shell, a thorn of a citrus tree as a needle, a bamboo thorn holder, and a bamboo used to tap it. In Mountain Province the close examination of the Kabayan mummies reveal that they have body tattoos similar to patterns found in their textiles. And those are the arts and crafts from the highland and lowland of Luzon. Before we end, let's see if you can identify the following arts and crafts.